Hey guys, so I'm just going to run you through a very basic series calculation, um, grade 9, so I just want to make sure that you understand that this is as complicated as it gets in grade 9. So I've drawn a series circuit, I've got resistor 1, resistor 2, which has got V1, voltmeter 1 and voltmeter 2 over it, I've got one cell which has got the total voltage available to the circuit and here I have an ammeter that measures the total current. Now in a series circuit the current that goes through the cell also has to go through the resistor 1, has to go through resistor 2 and goes through the ammeter. So anywhere in a series circuit, if I put an ammeter remember an A is for an ammeter and I is for a current but they measure the same. So the current anywhere in a series circuit is the same. So the current that goes through the ammeter also goes through resistor 1 and also goes through resistor 2. This is your mathematical relationship for current in a series circuit. Now, an electron that goes through the voltmeter gains however many volts and it has to share that voltage that energy between resistor 1 and resistor 2 and that brings us to the voltmeter or the voltage or the potential difference mathematical relationship so the total voltage which we get from the cell is equal to the voltmeter reading over resistor 1 plus the voltmeter reading over resistor 2 and that then means because of these two relationships when we calculate total resistance for a circuit we simply say that the total resistance is the resistance of resistor 1 plus resistor 2 and then please remember this equation R equals V over I which you will get in the exam this always counts no matter what type of circuit you're working with no matter what you are working with all right so let's do an example I'm going to use the same values I used in class <coughs> pardon me so we're going to say that the total volts the energy supplied by the cell to the circuit is 9 volts and please remember the conventional current runs from positive terminal to negative terminal right and then we're going to say that resistor 1 is 100 ohms and resistor 2 is 50 ohms. Alright, so that's going to be the information that you get given. Later on, when you get to grade 10, then obviously we can switch it up and we give you different bits of information. We ask you to calculate different things. But for grade 9, this is what you are going to be given. So from this information, the first question is going to be calculate the total resistance of the circuit. So if we look carefully, we can't use this equation here because we do not have current. We have the total volts and we have resistor 1 and resistor 2. Because we have resistor 1 and resistor 2, we are going to use this equation. <coughs> just to make your lives a little bit easier I'm just going to write down the question as well so the question will be calculate the total resistance for those of you who have been in class, you will know that this is a three mark question. I'll also show you where you get your marks. Alright, so the first step, guys, when we're doing physics, is to write down the formula. And the formula we're going to use for this problem is R total equals R1 plus R2. And now we are going to substitute into our equation easy as that and you don't really need a calculator for this one it's simply a hundred and fifty ohms All right so where do the marks go the first mark here goes for the formula 
The second mark goes for the substitution. And the third mark goes for the answer with the unit. Very important. If your answer does not have a unit, your answer is considered to be wrong. Right, so that's the first question. The second question I will ask you is I will ask you <coughs> to calculate the total current. And again guys, physics, generally you're looking at a three mark question. So let's just look at the diagram. We've just calculated the total resistance and we have the total voltmeters reading. So we are going to go and use this equation here, R equals V over I. We're going to substitute the total resistance in here and the total voltmeter in here, which means here we're going to calculate the total current. <coughs> so again, I start by writing down my formula. At this point, you are more than welcome to manipulate it first. Just remember that if you make a mistake in the manipulation, you're going to lose your substitution and your answer mark. Okay? So again, I want the total current. So I'm going to use the total resistance and the total voltmeter reading. So I am going to substitute into the equation. Right? Now you have to do a little bit of maths here, guys. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. If you want me to spend, do an extra video just on manipulating of an equation, let me know and I'll do a special video just on that. So here I end up with I equals 9 over 155. Just trying to find my calculator. Go. 9 divided by 150, 0, 0,06. So I equals 0, 0,06 ampere. Now let's just look where the marks go again. <coughs> First mark will go for the formula. Second mark will go for the substitution. And the third mark will go for the answer with the unit. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, and I really strongly recommend that you do this on your diagrams as well. Oops, wrong diagram. There you go. And that looks better. Is to take a pen or a pencil and once you've calculated a value to put it into the diagram it just helps you a little bit the more you have of the picture the easier this becomes all right now very important guys <coughs> this voltmeter or uh, this ammeter reading here this current is also the current that flows through resistor 1 and it is also the current that flows through resistor 2. So if I put an ammeter over here it would measure 0, 0,06 ampere and if I put an ammeter here it would also measure 0, 0,06 ampere and if you ask to forever justify that you simply use this mathematical equation you say the total current equals I1 equals I2. All right. Now, the next calculation that I'm going to ask you is going to be to calculate voltmeter 1, the reading on voltmeter 1. All right. So, to calculate the reading on voltmeter 1, I'm now just going to look 
at this part of the circuit here. There we go. So I'm now going to just look at the information I have in and around voltmeter 1. So for voltmeter 1 I have resistor 1 and I also have I1 or A1. I have the current through the resistor. So I'm going to go back to this equation here and I'm going to calculate this voltmeter reading here. So the question will read calculate V1. And again, it's a calculate question, so it is going to be three marks. All right, so we said that we are going to again use this equation here. And the values I'm going to substitute is going to be resistor 1, the current through resistor 1, and I'm calculating the voltmeter reading. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about the total values. I'm just going to stick to what is going on there around at resistor 1. Right, now you're going to have to do a little bit of mathematical manipulation. Again, remember... For a science paper, you are not going to get a mark for this, but it would not be penalized if you write it down, and I get 6 volts. And again, let's just look at where the marks go. <coughs> Formula, substitution. the answer with the unit. All right, there's one more thing that we can calculate from this circuit, and that is the reading on V2. All right, so now we need to remember that we've got the total volts and we've got V1 here we can calculate V2 by using this mathematical relationship. We have the total volts, we have the reading on V1, so the energy that resistor 1 uses, and so we can easily calculate resist the voltmeter reading over resistor 2. Okay? The final calculation for the circuit, we are going to calculate V2. And again, we're looking at a three mark question. So we're going to write down the mathematical relationship. We are going to substitute into our equation. And guys, I hope you can all see, without any calculator work, what that answer is there. Alright, so nice and easy. Again, guys, just to make sure that you understand that marks do go for the formula. So if you don't write down the formula, I cannot give you that mark. The mark also goes for writing in your substitutions. If you don't show me that, I cannot give you that mark. And then the last mark goes for the answer with its unit. Right guys, easy peasy. Just go check out the flow that I use and kind of how I pick apart this circuit. Go make sure you understand the mathematical relationships uh, involved in a parallel circuit and good luck.